A sex expert argued that sex planning could be the key to a good relationship. Do you have enough sex? The right number of people have sex a week or month will vary according to the person or couple. But if you think you don't have enough sex, it may be time plan in a session. Planning sex is what a sincerity expert has credit to, say Vissi and says that it may have big benefits for sexual welfare and that it may compare therapy planning for mental health. I don't really think my relationship will survive. Whole Holly Robinson says, I don't really think my relationship will survive. Holly Robinson says, we both work, we both have children, we have devices coming out of our ears. And this may really cut the connection. We should choose to reconnect with each other. Why don't you just plan one hour a day to be completely with each other? This is not just about sex, if I wasn't in the mood. It could be as simple as a hug. I highly recommend that you make room for sincerity in our busy lives. It can also be useful to spend time for kissing and hugging. The 34-year-old child recommends planning sex for different hours of the day instead of having sex just before bedtime. We're all really busy, most of us have children, and sex usually will be the last thing we do with our partners just before starting to sleep. It reduces the list of prospects, he explains. Just going to sex planning from sex before bedtime can cause unnecessary pressure, this may be a turn. However, if we start with a place for proximity, kisses, hugs, massages, even careful sex variations such as Tantra may have a great impact on struggle. Relations. The story continues while other people may always feel like having sex, the real number is probably less than you think. Times, including those who had sex, found that he had sex once a week. One third of the participants said that they did not have sex last week and 29% were not sexually active. In addition sex planning, Robinson proposes spare time talk your partner about sex and sincerity. Because it may allow you show your partner and make yourself. During this time, you can talk about what you need from your sincerity and sex, maybe focus on more foreplay or less penetration. Or he adds, also, how can I make you feel beautiful? You can also ask questions. For those who want to discover the idea of sex planning, Robinson recommends you to spend time for more kissing, hugging, sincere conversation and massage. So the emphasis is not just sex. It also proposes to be open-minded about sex planning. Because your sex life can be as important as seen to as for our mental health. Watch. Could people be quiet relationships?